Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. Ever find yourself in a situation where maybe a piece of music comes on and you're in some place or whatever and you suddenly just begin to tap your feet or you hear a catchphrase and you just have to finish it off or whatever, you know, something like that where you feel like, hey, this is, you know, just me. I have to be myself. Let's take a look at what we have as we look at the book of Luke and we're in chapter 14, reading from verse 1. The Bible says here, in, um, Jesus, it says, talking about Jesus, it says, One Sabbath, when Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, he was being carefully watched. There in front of him was a man suffering from abnormal swelling of his body. Jesus asked the Pharisees and experts of, in the law, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. So taking hold of the man, Jesus healed him and sent him on his way. And then Jesus asked them, if one of you has a child or an ox that falls into a well on the Sabbath day, will you not immediately pull it out? And they had nothing to say. Now, why was this conversation even going on? You might um, wonder. Well, it was important because, you see, these Pharisees were sticklers of the law. They they, you know, they understood the law and they understood it to mean that on the Sabbath, they're not supposed to do any work and anything like that. In fact, in some of the um some other incidents um, in the Bible recorded. Some of the Pharisees actually said to Jesus, if somebody is sick they should and needs healing, they should come on another day, um, you know, to be healed. And so Jesus was saying, hey, okay, yeah, the Sabbath is important, but this person needs help. This person needs help. And you find Jesus, you know, in every situation like that, that where there was somebody sick, there was, you know, people around him that were ill and needed healing. Jesus just automatically, he just went into his default mode, which was to heal, you know, no matter what. He didn't, it, it didn't matter whether people around him were going to criticize him or not. He just had to do what he was supposed to do. He was the great, he is the, he is the great physician. And so where there was he, um, sickness and suffering and he could heal, of course he would do it. And that was, you know, I, I, I see that there. So it's like you and I, look, our default mode should always be that of being a child of God. That is who we are. And so no matter what, you're in a situation where somebody needs help, you can put a word of prayer, you can lay hands on a person, you know, and it's all proper and you know you're able to do that go ahead and do it say a prayer if, whether it's a prayer silently in your heart you know say a prayer or it is a um, an opportunity to praise god an opportunity to give god the glory go ahead that should be your default mode just like it was for jesus that in the midst of suffering and pain jesus immediately reverted to who he was a great physician who he is the great physician and so for you and i our default mode should always be that hey you know what? I'm a child of God, regardless. Praise God. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.